abroad and welcome back folks to Tracks, the train set game. And I say welcome back because I have already done kind of a first impressions on this. I did a first look at the demo preview build that came out a few months ago now. So this is technically a second impressions and it gives me a chance to have a look at what's new in the game. If you want to see what my kind of first impressions of the most basic version of the game was, there's a link somewhere to that, but we will dive in and I can show you, well, the, the ultimate basics. There you go, space to and control to move around. Yes, it's it's basically about building a toy train set. And we can do that by placing parts. Here we go, do, 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 do. And no, we want to, uh, there we go. We can, we can do all sorts of things like that. Though so that piece, uh, no, let's, Connect there and we can go, oh, actually do bridges. There we go. Let's go round on ourselves. Snaky, snaky, and come back down. Uh, no, no, we don't want, we want to, uh, let's move the camera around. So that, that is one of the things we can do, move cameras and go down. There we go, right. That's fairly complicated. So if we have a look at the controls, you get a spacing, control to move that was to, to move around while well, we've already seen that much but we can wee, move around all the camera uh, we can press the left mouse button to place pieces well we've already seen that in short order uh, you can use the cursor right mouse button to undo while well, you saw me undoing bits and pieces junctions and crossings yep yeah, well I think we've uh, established that much and press C to clear a current piece well we, we we can let's pick a piece Oh, it's freezing on me. Uh, let me... No, 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 no. Where are you going? Okay, let's undo that piece. There we go. Clear. Clear. No, we don't want a straight bit underneath our train. Otherwise, it's not going to go very far, is it? There we go. That's fine. Yeah, that's fine. There we go. Uh, Spacebar. Left mouse button to place. C to clear. And then we can do Q and E to move the camera ultimately though we don't want to just be next to the train do we we want to get in the train well to do that we need to press t and then we can basically operate our train as it says here as to, to move the controls so we've got left and right and up and down which is our power so if we engage power see us start to trundle along though we're on a train we don't normally go left and right unless we want to switch tracks essentially so we can do that in a moment because we're going to want to go left. There we go. We double back on ourselves. Whee! And we'll go left again. There we go. Left again. No, we d didn't quite make that one. But you can see here, the controls are really easy and simple. And this game is just kind of adorable. It's, it's taking us back to childhood sort of thing. Oh, and we want to move up. No, we don't want that track there. Let's get rid of that. There we go. Just in case, because yeah, we can launch our train. In actual fact, let's let's find a point where we can actually create a jump. Uh, that's going to go round there. It's going to go all the way round. Let's make a jump here. So that we can make a jump. Uh, it'll it'll jump the track. Ready, ready, wee, and just keep going because we can reset the train with T. Doesn't have to run on tracks. Yeah, well we can see that much. Goodbye. We chase after it. Uh, trying to chase after it. It's crashed into the wall and beyond. Yeah, it's probably reset. As it resets, yes, it's back on the tracks there. So this game may look very very simple and it is kind of very simple but it's what you do with it as always so we can say g well we can place stuff so let's have a look i i've got most bits and pieces so what haven't i got a fountain let's unlock that and we got a cute little fountain we can place well, we'll place one there uh, we can place what else have we got uh fence okay let's unlock fences and we can rotate this around. We'll put a little picket fence next to... Oh, we may have to zoom in some. 
There you go. Let's put it. Uh, 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 camera controls with Wazda. Not great. Let's make a cute little picket fence. It's not very snap snap onable. That's it. The the kind of there is a little bit of snap for the buildings and stuff at least. But the fences seem to be have a mind of their own. So let's let's place a building instead. Let's uh, let's put a little medium house. Though we're gonna have to zoom out for this. There we go. And uh, we can rotate this little chap around. Oh, too much. Put him next to the tracks and he'll snap. And we can also do stuff like stations, as you'd imagine. It's a train set. So let's grab a platform, say. And we can rotate you around. So you're actually facing the track. There you go. And, well, for people to get it onto the platform, we're going to have to spawn some. So we can grab that by going to, where are we? Spawn, normal people. We'll put them just there. They should all recognise that there's a station there. There you go. We're all going to climb up onto the platform. And if we get into our train now, apply the power, though. We do ha still have that jump, don't we? Right, we're going to have to sort you out. Nope. Back. Uh, no. No, we don't want to click that. Get rid of it. Right. We want to... Go on. We'll get rid of you completely. There we go. Now, we can add that part. Right. We're good. We're good to go. Right, where's our train? A bit more speed, I think. Let's grab a bit more speed. More power. And we know our station is over there. So we go straight ahead. Right, reduce power. No. Oh, well, we haven't got a carriage. Okay, well, we're going to have to sort that out, aren't we? Uh, backing up. No, let's... let's Until we got a, a black light. There we go. No, there. Right, we should stop. Okay, right. Now, if we go back from T and press G, we should have somewhere. Where is it? Uh, it's platforms. No, we want a passenger carriage. There we go. Oh. There you go, it's glitching through the, the thing. There you go. Oh, and they're all chasing after it. Oh! <laughs> yeah, early access, folks. But if we go back onto our train now, we see they're all our passengers. Right, full steam ahead. And round our pretty little fountain. So this is it at its most basic. We can switch tracks. Switch tracks. No, we didn't quite make that switch. It doesn't matter. We can take the scenic route up above. And we can go through a few more bits. Holding Alt while uh, building tracks allows you to place alternate pieces. We don't really want that. Uh, level select, pick environments. Yeah, we've, we've done that. Uh, and that's everything. And we can see... Where is he? Wait, he stopped. Don't stop. Don't stop, can't stop. Go on, apply the power. Full steam ahead. Max power. There we go. Right. If we switch out, now we can see him pootling around. Whee! At top speed. And he's just going to keep going round and round and round and round. Like so. Obviously, we can, like I said, switch points. So, I don't know if we can do it from here because we need to be in the train to actually be able to switch the points because he's going to go straight ahead, yes. But it's, it's just kind of adorable, like I said. But you don't want to see me just build basic stuff like this. Uh, I did all this in the demo. How about we try something different? Let's do a level select. Because now, they did have, I think it was a bedroom in the demo, which was already pre-built and you could make alterations. But now we can you can see we have little passengers to move around. We can't do that in the free play mode, but if we go to the modern apartment, we can do passengers. Cargo is a thing that's coming, it looks like. It's essentially, we can have like cargo trucks on the back of the uh, the train, which we can pick up and collect stuff from hoppers. So let's do passengers. Yes, continue. And this is almost like the story mode, challenge mode, campaign mode, whatever you want. Passengers will appear around the room, open the toy box and drop platform close to where they are waiting. Well, we kind of saw that in action already. Well, there you go. There's some passengers. Build a platform 
to your new uh, platform, build some track to your new platform and stop there to let passengers onto the carriage. And then we want to take them over to the station. So kind of simple, but this being a big, big old room, I mean, we can have a look around the room. It's, it's pretty big. There is another station over here, but this is classed as the business station. And we can see all the different bits and pieces. As you'd imagine, it's not just these guys here. There's going to be more and more passengers as we go through the campaign mode, as it were. So let's... No, we don't want to go... Ah, where, where are you? Let's go down. All right. No, we don't want to sink through. Let's just start placing pieces. We want to get, head towards our passengers. Though they seem to be... Are they on this level? Nope, they're going to be slightly further down. So let's drop down. And... Nope, they are on this level. Okay, right. This is the, the one thing. Trying to judge depth. So we do want to do that. So let's just go towards the TV. There we go. Right. Yes, we are clipping through them, but we don't have to worry about it. It's... It's a toy game. You, you don't have to worry too much. And we need to go to the train station over there. So we're going to have to drop down to the, the level of the sofa. Which I think is like so. Let's back off. Yeah, that looks like it's on, on the level with the sofa. And then we're going to go, go to the platform. So I'm going to stop about there. Actually, I'm going to give myself a bit more room. There you go. Right. Right. Oh. I don't know if those kind of hitches and that is basically because I'm running the capture software. I ne never experienced it whilst I was testing it out. But like I said, it is early access and we are going to have to put a platform here. So we do need to rotate that round so it's actually facing the track like so. It should ping out and they go, oh right, I can get the train now. There we go. Well, they all go and we'll climb in the train ourselves and apply the power. We just wiggle our way there. Though, of course, we can't go through at full speed. We are going to have to start reducing down. And I'm going to drop down to Trundle. So we can have a bit more power. Let's save out that much and then get ready to stop when we're in the right place. So reduce power to nothing. And... Perfect. Right, all aboard. They they should use both carriages. There we go. Right. Boop, boop. Apply the power. And then we know we're going to have to slow down again in a second because it's only a short squirt to the station. So reduce power. Momentum should carry us there. You can see the little arrow is dr slowly dropping. Right, okay, let's give it a little bit, bit of a squirt. Just to get us to the station. Come on, come on. They need to get there. And right, okay. Turn off the engine. It applied. There is no brakes. We're not applying the brakes. We are just trundling to a stop. There we go. New set of passengers have arrived somewhere. Find them and bring them back to the first station. So we need to go find where's the new passengers. Well, we are here. Well, I wonder where the new passengers might be. Oh, there they are. It's almost as if I played this bit before. <laughs> so let's add them in. Well, we need to go in that direction then. Let's curl our way that way. And like I said, this is this is almost like the campaign mode. I mean, it's a, a bit simple at the moment. It's when we get business passengers. They're a bit more demanding, especially when it comes to their time. So we do have a time challenge mode. Ooh. It's going to be quite slow to get up that hill, so we're going to have to apply the power. So I want to maybe do that. There we go. Nope. Right. Okay. Well, let's back off. There we go. And of course, we're going to have to go back to the sofa. So what we can do is, well, we saw we can cross over the tracks. In actual fact, we'll just do a curl around the corner and then we'll drop down here. Drop down and we can link the tracks up and of course we need a platform so let's grab a platform from there rotate it round so it's actually facing the track 
There you go. And they should all climb on. There we go. And where's the train? Let's grab the train again. All aboard! Well, not quite. We're going to go and get the passengers so they can be all aboard. And you'd think, right, well, we're going to have to slow down before we get to it. But we have got a big hill in the way. So we're going to need the power there. So we're going to actually probably go a bit more power. Right, now start reducing, slowing down. Over that last hump. And all stop. And I've timed that kind of nicely because I should just roll into the station. There we go. Everyone climbs aboard. There you go. Both carriages as well. Cool. Right, let's go. So like I said, this is just kind of sweet and cute. And I think people are just going to have fun with it. There's no particular challenge with it. It's, it's just one of those nice games we occasionally we can just have games that we are just silly and fun and don't have any kind of stress behind them we can just do whatever you want we, it's, it's, it's essentially a sandbox now there's a set of business passengers these must take be taken we have a time limit so we have 120 seconds so where are they well i know they are all the way over here so we're going to have to get them, so let's grab this bit of track. And just keep going. Let's go like that. We'll reduce down so we're actually on level with the table. Uh, is that level with the table? i not sure. Yes, it is. Right, let's keep going. And they want to go to the business station. Not there. Is that the, that's online. That's lined up. Yep, yeah, there we go. No, it's a little high. Right, okay, let's reduce. Let's reduce that down. And then we're in, in line with it. And we can double back on ourselves. To maybe there. Yeah, that. Oh, no, no. Come on. Back, back, back. Nope. Reduce. Uh, let's go up. Not quite. Okay. Well, we've only got 50 seconds, so stuff it. Let's gra grab the train full speed ahead. Let's go grab them. We can, whilst we know that's ticking along, let's grab a platform for it. Now, I never did this the first time. I never made, made it in time. So let's rotate this round. Hopefully they should all get on. Where's our train? 23 seconds, we're not going to make it, are we? Oh, more power. 70 seconds. Yep. Yeah, I'm not sure how you're supposed to do it without knowing. Oh, no, too fast. Full reverse. Yeah, five, four, three, two, one. So as long as you get the passengers there, there's not really a penalty I can think of. I, maybe you'll get less money for actually buying items in like the full game. There you go. Right. Engines are off. They should all climb on now. Come on. All aboard. Both pa carriages. Yeah. Everyone's ready. Let's go. So... Without actually, you know, building all the track to this station prior to it. I don't know whether you can actually do it in 120 seconds. Oh, no, too fast. All reverse again. <laughs> and, of course, we've got a floating uh, track over there. But th this is, as I say, the kind of the campaign mode. But at the end of the day, this is just a cute little game which you can have fun with and build your own little uh, stations and that, which I have done. I sp spent about, you know, 40 uh, odd minutes or something playing around with this. And I've created my own, which I've saved. Uh, though I did notice when I saved that the, these two that are pre-made. So before I try my one, my Toy Town, let's check out Roller Coaster. Let's go on, where, where we go, load. Uh, 
Now, will we? Yes, it, right, that looks like a roller coaster. Oh, yes, uh, the dev has. Looks like they've had fun. Right, okay, well, we're gonna have to go full speed on this one, aren't we? And we can go probably left. Whoop. Let's go back on ourselves. Did we collect a point or was that just the starting point for the train? Okay. So we can basically uh, tackle this track either way we want. And I, I have noticed the music has disappeared. Whee! Let's actually have a look around the room. All right. Smashes through all the things. We missed that. Okay. Oh, it's going to go up and around underneath. Where are you going? Where are you? Where's the little train? There you go. There he is. Whee! <laughs> and we've got these helter skelter type things, which I've not used yet. Where are you? Uh, you're there. Oh, right. You're going to make a big jump. <laughs> You're gonna go that way. All oh, right, uh, we're gonna climb aboard for the helter skelter. Let's let's check out the helter skelter. Ready? Full speed up here. Ooh. Slowly crawling up. Good job, we got max power. Uh. Oh, it looks like we're gonna have a big jump after this. Yes, we're gonna jump onto the. Uh, the sideboard next to the telly and through a massive uh, tower of bricks. Ah, smack! <laughs> so like I said, this, this game is just fun and silly and... Oh, are we, we're going all the way over here. There's, oh, there's not another jumper. No, it's a Helter Skelter and we're going to go round and round. But yeah, this is one. Let's have a look at the other. Uh, so, small town. Let's load this up. Uh, back. It's actually going to do it. No. Load. Small town. Load. Is it going to load it? No, it doesn't seem to want to. Okay, let's try my one then. No, it still seems to be in the living room. Let's go back. Let's go level select. Let's go clear. Maybe this is just a bug of it being... Uh, right, let's try small town now. Back. Play. Oh, there we go. Okay, now we can see it in action. So where's our train? There's the train. It's going to go through. Oh, this is kind of cute. They've got a lot more walls than I have. So let's get on the train, let it get it started, and we'll zoom out then and follow him around. Boop, boop. No passengers though. So this, this is, you know, what you can do. Obviously you can see they've raised it up. I think this is something you can kind of purchase in the, the toy box, get a uh, platform, well not platforms, but terrain parts so how about we have a look at my one before we, we wrap things up so presumably this will actually load up let me try is it going to play it yeah there we go oh and it just seems to have crashed my tower over there okay well let's board our train though we have our platform here how about we actually have some passengers so for that, we're going to need uh, a passenger carriage, which it should attach. Come on. And how about another passenger carriage? There you go. Two passenger carriages. And of course, we're going to have to spawn some people. So let's do that. If it wants to. No, it doesn't want to. Okay, let's pick something else that it might do. Um... We'll put a tree down. Maybe that will unbug it. Now, let's try spawn. No, it doesn't want to be able to spawn. Okay. 
We'll put another tree down. There we go. Right. Yeah. Plant. Right. Let's climb aboard our train. And hopefully I have got another station elsewhere. So let's see if this works. Apply the power. And we can have a little poodle around my little toy town that, you know, I knocked up in like 20 minutes or so. So, uh, I, 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 admittedly, I've noticed the music has disappeared. It didn't do that on the, the first time I played it, so presumably that's just bugged out as well. It is early access, and I don't remember putting a building like that. I don't remember that. I think stuff may have bugged slightly. But we have got our little station here, if we had passengers. Let's see if there's passengers on this platform. No. I did put spawn points, but they're clearly not working. So, early access bugs, which are to be expected. But regardless, this is still going to be a fun one to mess around with. And considering it's a pretty cheap game as well. So, um, it's going to cost you £7 UK. Plus, you know, they're, they're going to knock off the usual 10% for, you know, the first week. Yeah, that was definitely not a, a big house clipping through when I placed it. So it seems to randomise those. And, um, yeah, so it's going to be about £7 in the UK, $10 in the States, and I think it's like $12 in Australia. So this is kind of a bargain, just a, something fun and silly to mess around with. Crash through the blocks. Crash through these. And yeah, I did accidentally put a tree on the track. Never mind. You can't seem to delete objects, it doesn't look like. At least at least I couldn't find a way. But regardless, this is my little first attempt. Uh, where did where do you go? Can we there we go. Right, if it's in our hand we can delete it. Yeah, that wasn't a big pink house when I, I I'm sure it was a single story when I placed it. So these randomized houses do randomize. But I just wanted to have some different coloured ones. But you can see, this is just silly and cute and fun. And I highly re uh, recommend checking it out if you like these kind of... If you like stuff like, you know, SimCity and Planet Coaster and things like that. Just sandbox creation type games. You're going to have fun with this. It's a silly little game which is cute. And being in early access, I can see there being more models added. Uh, you know, I can see them adding different toys you can crash into, different environments. As I said, I'm pretty sure there was like a bedroom in the demo. So the fact that we've got a, a living room now, I'm guessing other rooms are going to be added. There's going to be different passengers. So we saw regular passengers and, um, what's the name? The business passengers. There's also, if we look in here, uh, business station, we have a, a spawn for a wedding one. And we have to have a wedding station for that. So let's see where we can put a wedding station. Let's put that there. Nope, it's not gonna it's gonna collide with stuff. Uh can we put it over here? Is that gonna collide? Possibly. No, we need a bigger bigger section for this. Uh can't get it to float. I could do it with it there. There we go. It's gonna be right next to the that. And let's see if we can put a, a wedding spawn next to this. So we go. is the spawn going to work this time? No, I think it may be it's conflicting with the capture software. It's not letting me pick the spawns, unfortunately. But you can see this is a cute little game. As always, I will leave a link in the description if you want to check it out for yourself. And we will climb one aboard once again as we wrap up so if you've enjoyed this as i say it's not technically a first impressions because i've already covered this game before but if you've uh, enjoyed this uh return look at tracks the train set game obviously uh let us know in the comments below chuck us a like if you've enjoyed it and we're, we're going past the chapel in a second and on your right hand side there we go boop boop uh yeah let us know in the comments what you thought, or you can get in touch with us on any of the socials over at the Killer Bits. Alright, climbing my town. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm going to have fun just building weird and wacky stuff with this. I want to see what the most ridiculous roller coaster I, I can build is. Uh, lots of jumps, lots of um, corkscrews. And it's just cute. Come on. This is cute, isn't it? All right. Until next time, guys. Bye.